It's time to share this video. It's a real classic, this poor little guy here. I'll get back to this in just a minute, but I came out with this video here answering Joe Major's pre-trib challenge. Brought up a bunch of scriptures that uh, I'd like to hear the guy's, you know, sincere answer to. But apparently he's too big of a coward to answer the videos. Uh, he can shoot his mouth off about the pre-trib rapture being false and whatever else, but uh, doesn't have the guts to take some time to answer uh, my challenge back to him. And I was, you know, fairly nice with it and whatever else. Well, this little uh, terrier here, you know, a little chihuahua, I guess, or something like this. No, no, not, not really a pit bull. A little rabid chihuahua comes out. This this guy here, uh, I'm not sure what his name is, but uh, but he comes out with this thing. And you can see my video here. It's 34 minutes and 9 seconds. He has it cut down. He cuts out all, all the scriptures that I use. Real brave. Real brave, you know. And so down in here, I just simply come out and I say, hey, princess, why not actually show the whole video and answer the scriptures which I used? You are pathetic, but what should be expected from a group of fairies that puts out trading cards? And they do. The Anderson cult. You showed the one verse. Oh, you can't. Darby didn't give you one. I've never even read anything from Darby. But uh, I got down through there and I said, okay, I showed multiple verses in my video. You are a liar. Why not re-upload the whole video and answer the scriptures and arguments I used? Come on, little sussy, I dare you. These, see, these Andersnake little cultists, they just they can't handle anything. But uh, check this out. This this is fun, okay? This, this is the kind of stuff I love, right? Here we go. Watch. Hey, this is Brother Adam Fannin here at Steadfast Adam Baptist Fannin. Church in Jacksonville, Florida. I want to bring to everybody's attention yet another oneness, unsaved heretic coming... <laughs> Oneness. I'm not oneness. Okay. <laughs> out of the Ruckman camp. Now, there are a bunch of these guys. Okay, I didn't come out of the Ruckman camp. I'm not a PBI graduate. I love doc Dr. Ruckman. Uh, he teaches the Bible. He's probably the greatest Bible teacher of the 20th century into the 21st century. Uh, you don't understand a lot of what he taught because you're lost. Uh, no repentance heretic that you are. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not from the Ruckman camp. Okay. Anyhow, let's continue. As you probably know who I'm talking about. The one I want to talk about right now, though, is this Brian Denlinger. <laughs> What's the matter there, Princess? Can't stand still? A little upset? I you get a little blood, blood pressure is going up a little bit? Take a baby aspirin, okay? So I said. This guy is not saved. You've probably seen his YouTube channel, uh, Husky Boy on YouTube. Look, this guy has come out attacking Pastor Joe Major because Joe Major asked a very logical question. If the Bible teaches a pre-tribulation rapture, you should be able to show this with the Bible alone. Now, Brian... And I did. I did. <laughs> you know? But he cuts, has to cut up my video there. Doesn't want to show the scriptures that I brought up. And I've preached uh, well over a hundred sermons proving that the time of Jacob's trouble, or that the catching up is before the time of Jacob's trouble. Scripture, 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 scripture. And none of it's from Darby, none of it's from Schofield, or, uh, you know, most of it's not even from Ruckman. And Dellinger cannot do it without going to the Ruckman Bible, or Larkin, or Schofield, or Darby. All of these men were completely unsaved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Check it out here. There, princess. Look at there. This is my Bible. My main preaching Bible. You see? It is a Cambridge. See? Cambridge. This is the Bible that's in all my preaching and teaching videos. I've shown it many times. No commentary. You wouldn't lie about somebody, though, would you? I mean, that's that's not really a Christian thing to do, but you're the Christian. I'm the unsaved heretic. Let's continue. This this is comedy. This is good stuff. And they all like to go, well, it says, you know, rightly dividing. So obviously you have to believe in Darby's dispensationalism or Schofield's chopped up version of the Bible where he literally inserts his heresy in line and they omit what God has said. Listen, this guy, Denlinger, is a heretic. He is not saved. And he is attacking our church, trying to make these statements. Well... <laughs> I'm attacking your church? Huh? What? Okay. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I never even heard of this steadfast Jacksonville thing. Um, uh, maybe I think what he means is his Catholic church. Okay. 
they don't like that. You know, they don't like the fact that I'm attacking Roman Catholic uh, doctrine and things. You know, the church going through the final time of testing and whatever else, which is in the catechism. That's the church, I guess he's talking about. Let's continue here. Just, just calm down, right? In the video, just stepping back and forth. And, oh. Why don't you refute every verse that I have given for a pre-tribulation rapture? But the funny thing is, is he never actually gave one verse showing that the Lord would return and resurrect his saints before the tribulation period. Instead, oh, actually, I showed multiple verses. But you had to cut them out of your little funny video you made about me. And you won't show your people the entire video. Play the entire video. Go on. Do it. Play it. And answer me from the scriptures alone. He uses semantics and word games. And he tries to say that Matthew 24 is not talking about the resurrection. He's a... Uh, it isn't. There's no mention of dead saints coming up in Matthew chapter 24. Show it to me. I'm, I'm a Zionist here too. But. Zionist. He want, He's a racist. <laughs> I'm a racist. Okay, I love that one. Um, you know, I'm a racist. Um, have you looked up the definition definition of the word racist? It means that one race is superior to others, and others should be eliminated. Uh, show me one video where I've ever taught that. I'm not a racist. I love all people. Okay. He believes that God is a racist and that God pre preserves uh, or prefers rather the bloodline of the Semites above the faith of Christians or saints or. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't say that. Okay, God made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their physical descendants. That's the whole reason for the time of Jacob's trouble. The Jews are wicked, they've rejected Jesus Christ as their Messiah. That's why God has to pour out his judgment and his wrath on those Christ-rejecting Jews in Israel. I am not appointed to wrath. Right? You are because you're lost, but you know, I'm not. Believers that have always been. Listen, the gospel has always been the same. Believe. <laughs> the gospel's always been the same. Wow. So Jesus died on the cross in Genesis back way back when they just didn't really know about it yet. And you will be saved. Brian Denlinger does not believe that. He teaches a works-based salvation. And I would like to put this challenge out to Brian Denlinger. Uh, proof on that? Works-based salvation? Where I ever say that? That you have to work perpetually to get saved or something like this? I never said that. I don't teach that. Again, the problem with lying there, Junior. Sir, where are the verses? Where are the verses that say that there are seven dispensations? Or you're a rucktard, so where are the ten dispensations he talks about? Ruckman taught that there were seven different ways to be saved in the book of Acts alone. Do you believe this foolishness, Denlinger? And listen, those of you that are out there watching this, that understand what I'm talking about, how fool... Uh, what? What's it keep moving back and forth or something? Do you have to go to the potty or something like that? You're kind of worried you're going to mess your diaper or something? I mean, poor little thing. Wait, poor thing. You know, and, and, and oh, where's the scriptures? Where's the scriptures at, Dudlinger? Where's the scriptures at, Dudlinger? Um, well, I don't know. Here, just go to YouTube like this and uh, go to my, let's see if I can get the secondary channel. I forget what they're using the thing. Name is KJ Video Ministries right here. All right, videos. Where's the scriptures at, Dudlinger? Okay, uh, right there. Understanding Dispensationalism, Part 1 and Part 2. Nearly two hours of showing all the scriptures. Let's not be bothered with a thing like that, okay? Foolish Brian Denlinger is and how that he is unsaved. I want your help. Would you go on his channel, on his video about how to be saved, and would you make the comment, would you let him know that he is a hell-bound heretic for exalting the works of a man like Darby Scope? I have never recommended Darby. I've never recommend, recommended Schofield. And see, but see how these people do it? You see out there, all of you people, right here, proof positive. He is calling for people to come and troll my channel. You see it? Right there. This is just all the enemies of this ministry. They all do the same thing. They can't just walk away. The Bible says a man that is inherited after the first and second admonition reject. 
All right, do it. Don't watch me. Don't even mention me. Just, just ignore me. I'm a heretic, according to this guy. I'm an unsaved heretic. He says so down here, you know, um, and said so throughout the video, I should say. Reject me. Go away. Oh, no. Get over there into the comments and, and just put it in there in the comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They know I'm right. All my enemies there. They know I'm right. That's why they have to keep trying to cause division and things on my channel and my ministry. Let's finish up here. This is the fun's almost over. Cofield and Ruckman above the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brian Denlinger, you will go to hell, you heretic. Wow. I, I, I mean, his mommy must be awfully proud of him. He did the whole video without getting his, you know, putting his thumb in his mouth or without his teddy bear or his little blankie. Um, he really did a good job, didn't he? I mean, he's probably going to get a gold star on his Sunday school paper next week. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, just I had to play that. That just cracks me up. So, uh, yep. Unsaved heretic here. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, again, I'll just say it one more time to the princess here. Uh, play my whole video. Do it in front of your congregation and show the scriptures that I use and then refute it with nothing but a King James Bible. Okay?